a little nicer than I thought you were going to get. That looks pretty cool. I think that roaring fork looks awesome out there. We need, we need to get Dave on uh, some of those slides there. What we're watching here in the First Alert Weather Center is more great weather for Waterworld because our toasty temperatures continue. Afternoon storms are likely, but there is a possibility of a cool down. It's not a huge one, but we'll take every degree that we can get because tomorrow we're still pretty toasty. 95 in Denver, 94 in Fort Collins, upper 90s out in the eastern plains. Lots of 70s, 80s in the mountains with the 90s off to the the west and then on Thursday more of that intense heat 97 in Denver 100 in Greeley and Sterling close to the triple digits for most of the eastern plains with the 70s and 80s in the mountains 90s to the 100s over on the western slope right now though we have 86 that's pretty warm in Gunnison that's from our weather watcher Paul Kaplan who lives just northwest of town and taking a look across the state it's still pretty warm in many areas 104 in Lamar 100 in La Junta 85 out of DIA there was a thunderstorm in the area so kind of cooled things off but 90 in Boulder, 98 in Fort Collins right now, 70s, 80s in the mountains, 70s to the upper 90s over on the western slope. And cooler temperatures in some spots. Craig, right now in the 70s, thanks to a thunderstorm moving in that area. Mesa County and Garfield County actually have a flash flood warning in place right now, thanks to a heavy cell of rain that moved through. Rain in the, uh, the Los Angeles County, or I should say, the San Luis Valley is what I'm trying to say there. And then some of those storms making their way out toward Burlington right now. As we zoom on into the Denver area, we've had some pockets of rain. Most of that out near DIA right now, but that will clear out of here pretty quickly. And we do still have some showers around the Denver area. A little wider look again, some storms making their way out more on the far eastern plains. Lyman cooled off with some rain down near Monument. Monument, we still have some thunderstorm activity and still some strikes of lightning in parts of the high country as well. So future cast for tonight, still expect it to be stormy out there for the next couple of hours. Even late at night, we may still have some high country rain that maybe pops towards the front range. And then tomorrow morning, we wake up to sunshine. We'll see another wave of those storms move in throughout the afternoon and evening. Some pockets still of heavy rain out there thanks to monsoon moisture coming our way and then some of those will move out to the eastern plains even late at night tomorrow. There will be a threat of severe weather tomorrow uh, from El Paso County down towards Los Animas County. Hail and wind will be the biggest threats from those storms but again just be very uh, weather aware because if you do get under a thunderstorm really heavy rain is certainly possible. Tonight 68 in Denver, 62 in Fort Collins, low 60s out east, 40s, 50s in the high country in your extended forecast. We do have the possibility of another first alert weather day on Friday because we could hit the triple digits once again. And of course, when we usually we do, we usually get a heat advisory. So that would trigger that to first alert weather day for us. And then still hot on Saturday, slightly cooler on Sunday down to 91. That's actually normal for this time of year. And it's Tuesday that could actually bring us some real relief down to 89. You guys. <laughs>